Hi, Jason here. It's been a little while since I've done a video on AI detection and how you can bypass AI detectors. But if you want to see results like this, where we're able to go and get a 100% original AI detection uh, score on one of the hardest detectors there is, which is originality, then keep watching this video because I'm going to give you the solution. And it's taken me a long time, a lot of messing around, a lot of trial and error. So first of all, let me give you the, the background to all of this. Um, you can go ahead and get, obviously, ChatGPT or any of the other main article writers like CopyAI and Writer.com and all of those guys. Any kind of GPT-powered writer will generate articles and blog posts and essays and all of those different kinds of content. But the problem is, is that sometimes people don't want uh, the maybe Google to know that it was an AI generated piece of content and they therefore want to in some way rewrite the content to appear more human. So it, it did work for quite a long time. But when I last did a video on AI detection and how to kind of beat them, we were able to take an article that I we have had written in, say, ChatGPT. And I, I've just said there, create a 400 word article explaining the benefits of solar power. We were able to go to Quillbot, paste in the text and then uh, just click paraphrase. And we can use these different methods. I think when I first did this, I was using the standard method. So we'll just we'll just do that again. There we go. So now we've got this standard paraphrased article. Now, if we go to originality and we try this out, we'll get rid of this one we have here. Let's paste in the uh, original article first, which was this. So we'll copy that, paste that in. And that should, if originality is doing its job, come up as definitely AI, which it has. There you go. Straight away, 100% AI uh, confident. Now, I've got a whole load of different AI detectors and you're very welcome to check out my site, which is ChatGPT Detectors. It's like a free directory. You can try them all out here. The originality is there. AI Detector Pro, Winston, Pass.ai. I've got just about everyone you can imagine. They're all here on this one site. I'll put a link to it below. So we'll grab this content here and we'll now take that newly written piece of content, go over to originality, paste it in. There we go. It starts with a form of renewable energy. Click scan. And now we would go and get ourselves like a 100% original. But uh, originality doing what they're supposed to do and detect AI content um, did a very good job in, in figuring out that paraphrasing was not the one. Um, and so it, it, it's figured it out. It figured out Quillbot and even put out um, an actual blog post here about paraphrasing um, is Quillbot uh, plagiarism. But then it also was saying how they have uh, managed to detect it. And you can see there originality.ai, uh, AI detection, pla plagiarism checker, and then paraphrase. And none of the others did. And to be fair, that is that is true. None of the others also were able to do this. So I started figuring out and playing around with, with Quillbot to see if there was a way around this by changing the fluency, um, increasing the number of synonyms, going to creative mode, and I could not get it to go through uh, any way I tried to beat this detector. Couldn't do it. Um, but I found another piece of software. This one's called Undetectable to AI. Again, there's a link underneath for this. And you can try out, I think it's about 120, 125 words for free just to try it out. And then you can use it to by just pasting in the content like this. So there's that. Actually, that's not the original article. That's the other one. This one, this one right here, which starts with solar power as a type of renewable energy. That is the original that was written by ChatGPT. So there it is. And I'm going to say readability high school. And then the purpose, just general writing. And we'll click check for AI first. And what this does, which is really useful, look at that. It does it in seconds. It, it checks all of these different, um, the chances of it being detected on all of those. And it's going to say, eh, eh, no chance. You are done. It's going to pick that up as AI generated content. So now if we go to uh, humanize, we press the humanize button. And now it's just going to, work its magic on that content which is down there the original submission 
and then um, it will check the likelihood of it being detected on those things. However, we won't trust it. Um, we will try it on originality as well, which it doesn't have listed there. But funnily enough, just today, just today, I happened to see uh, somewhere along here, where is it? Uh, just here, um, very recently, in fact, yesterday, May the 8th, uh, they basically have said that undetectable.ai has managed to beat originality.ai in terms of creating undetectable content. And it's kind of funny as an outsider to watch these companies battling it out. One company is trying to hide AI content and all these other companies are trying to detect it. They're going to try and make money out of, uh, I guess, mainly like educational institutions who want to subscribe to, say, Originality and all these other AI detectors to try and catch out people submitting AI generated work. Maybe businesses as well who, who are hiring human writers on uh, from freelance websites and they want to make sure that they're not paying out for AI generated content um, when they can just do that themselves or just have someone sit there and do it. So there's two battles going on and there's money in both sides here to be made. So it's interesting to watch the, these two big kind of uh, companies battling it out and all of the other ones that are involved. But there we are. It is now rewritten it. Um, and it's gonna. it says that the likelihood of detection is very, very low, or it's basically just giving it a green light on all of these as well. And it even has a guarantee that it will pass AI detection or you get your money back. So it's it's that sure, the company is that sure that it will do the job, that it, that it actually gives you a refund guarantee. And that's pretty impressive. So now let's take this content. I want to make sure I get it because for some reason my copy and paste is not very good. So solar power is an eco-friendly and renewable source of energy. That is the first thing it says. So let's take the plunge here and go to originality. We'll get rid of this article here and we'll paste in this one. There it is. You can see it is the same, the same there. And then we'll, we'll go for the scan. And why not? We'll check for uh, plagiarism as well, just in case. And fingers crossed, it does the job. Let's see if their update works well, uh, like they said. So originality is a is a good system, by the way, in most cases for detecting AI, um, AI written content. And you can go ahead and find a link to it underneath as well or just go to the site. But there we go. It did it. You know, undetectable.ai did it. It is 99 percent original content. It's coming up there. And let's actually have a look at the readability of this as well. Or has it made it so crazy in terms of switching words around that it's no good. Well, let's have a look. Uh, solar power is an eco-friendly and renewable source of energy, which uses the sun's rays to produce electricity, unlike fossil fuels such as natural gas or coal, whose reserves are limited, while their extraction process may negatively impact environmental health. Well, one thing I can say there is that, that that is an extremely long sentence and it needs to have some kind of a comma in there, otherwise we're going to collapse when we read it out. Um, the following article explores why solar technology is increasing in popularity across borders, particularly for its numerous benefits. Nothing wrong with that. So it seems to have done OK. I can see that there's full stops there as well. So that's all right. But there's nothing to stop you, of course, from just using something like Grammarly or whatever, just to polish up the content, make sure that there's enough commas in there. But the actual wording and the choice of words and synonyms, whatever that it's been used, synonyms, um, it seems to have done actually a pretty acceptable job. So as I say, there's a link to this underneath. Now let's just go through the pricing. I've actually signed up for a, a whole annual account now because it's so cheap. Uh, if we go to pricing, uh, there you go. If you do it yearly, it, it's like $60 for a year. And you get, uh, where are we, 10,000 words per month to rewrite. So it's very, very cheap. And as it says there, there's a money back guarantee. If anything they produce is flagged as not being human, we'll refund the cost of humanization. So 
that's fair enough. And then the more words that you order, the bigger discount levels you get. So it's 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 just a very, very cheap service. So while you might be okay with Google detecting that your content, for example, is AI written, they have said, according to them, that they don't mind too much as long as the content's good and people enjoy reading it, they stay on the page. That tells the algorithm that it's good content, so they're happy to rank it. But things will things will change, no doubt, uh, over the coming few, I'd say months, not years, actually. The whole search industry is going to go crazy. Bard itself can produce Google's AI version of ChatGPT can, of course, produce articles and blog posts as well. So, you know, it's going to be it's just going to be a really weird time. But when you've got a tool like this, that's so inexpensive to just rewrite the content, have it humanized, as they call it, and then you can publish it and maybe relax at least for a while that your content is going to be uh, thought of as human, then I, I think it's probably worth doing it. And it's a shame that uh, Quillbot doesn't work anymore, but that's the truth. And I try and keep you updated um, as to what works. I'm always testing software tools out. So uh, subscribe to the channel and like it if you found it useful. But subscribe if you want more videos about AI detection and chat GPT and so on. And by the way, whilst I have you, um, do check out this free group that I've set up with over 4,300 members now, which um, we all get in here and we talk about AI and chat GPT and content writing and all of that kind of geeky stuff. People in here have got access to the various plugins that ChatGPT has now got, um, such as here, uh, Brigitte, she's got the code interpreter. We've got other people with the browser plugin. So we're getting amazing feedback all the time and prompts. We've even got a dedicated section here on just people submitting awesome prompts. So you may well want to join this. Again, there's a link underneath this video um, for you to do that. And uh, that's it. So that is how right now, um, at this moment in time, you can bypass AI detection uh, using that free tool. There's a link, or not free, um, there is a link underneath this if you want to sign up. It is free to sign up and try it out up to, I think, a maximum of a couple of hundred words. But if you're going to do it seriously, just get yourself an annual account and then you can do it en masse. All right. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you in another video in just a second.